So let's talk about some of the changes we see with elevated intracranial pressure and how that may manifest on the ECG. So first off, what are the physical findings we find in intracranial pressure uh, when it's increased? We can see changes in level of consciousness as well as the eyes. <clears throat> we see people that uh, posture, so it can be decerebrate or decorticate, or they can be completely flaccid. Decreased motor function is also pretty key to noticing it, especially in the early stages. Uh, headaches, seizures, changes in vital signs, which we'll cover more in depth here in a second, and vomiting and changes in speech. So those changes in vital signs are usually what are referred to as Cushing's reflex, and they are as follows. It's going to be an increased blood pressure, a decreased pulse, and then your respirations will become irregular or they may follow other you know, predetermined patterns, which we know are, are not concurrent with normal respiratory function. So let's talk about the ECG changes you, you may see in these people, and it may be an extra way for you to confirm what you think is going on that this may be a, a change in intracranial pressure. So as you can see on the slide, there are ST segment depressions, which are possible. There are uh, very tall, <clears throat> very prominent T waves, as well as just like global T wave inversions here, uh, which you see in the third category. So let's take a look at an ECG where you could see some of these uh, global T wave inversions or what are colloquially known as uh, stroke waves, okay? So if you take a look at the ECG, you can see uh, first thing that jumps out is this is a bradycardic rhythm, which is consistent with Cushing's reflex. You can also see that there are very, very broad inverted T waves and that they are global. So through all of the ECG leads, the, the T waves are, of course, discordant to the QRS complex. That is to say, if you look in AVR, that first appears to be a positive T wave. However, if you notice that the QRS complex is predominantly negative, um, you will see that the, the T wave is running opposite to it, so that qualifies as an inverted T wave. All right. <clears throat> Whenever you see something like this in the presence of intracranial or what you suspect to be intracranial pressure or what you suspect to be a stroke or a head injury, uh, this is an ECG finding that is common, and you want to make sure that you're attributing it to the intracranial pressure and not to, say, some other finding such as MI or uh, other types of cardiac ischemia from, from different origins. All right, thanks for watching.